Hello everyone, uh, I am making this video to demonstrate the working of Hot Potatoes. Uh, now, Hot Potatoes is a, a tool which we can use to create quizzes easily. Now, uh, to download Hot Potato, we will go to its website that is uh, hotpotato.ubic.ca. Uh, now, once we are into the website, we can uh, click scroll down and find the downloads option where we have the hot potato 7.4 uh, installer. So, once we in, uh, download the installer, we, pay, we can click on the installer and give the permission for it to make changes in your PC and then it will install itself in your PC. Uh, now, since I already have Hot Potato installed in my PC, I will uh, just cancel this installation. Uh, let's go over to what are the options offered by Hot Potato uh, for creating uh, quizzes and other activities. So, once we have installed Hot Potatoes uh, in your machine, we will get a desktop icon like this. Uh, we will double click on the icon and uh, we can now see the uh, screen of hot potato and uh, you can see here there are five uh, options here given uh, uh, given so we have the close we have the match we have the mix and cross and the quiz and apart from that we also have an another option which is called as a masher uh, now uh, if we hover the pointer for some time on this option we can see that the text which comes on the pointer is builds exercises a uh, sequence of exercises to complete uh, to, to complete a test so mix is for your uh, for example, it is for creating a match. Mix is for creating jumble words. Cross is for creating crosswords. Quiz is for creating multiple choice questions. Close is for filling the blanks. So first, we will go ahead and create a close, uh, create a fill in the blank exercise. So uh, we will click on the close option, and another window will pop up, uh, such as like this. Now here we will enter the title of the test which we want to give. Let's say I'll give a simple title called fill in the blanks. And here I will add some sentence. Uh, okay. Let's say that sentence is uh, uh, G Cruz is an exercise that asks the students to fill in the blanks. Okay. So this is one sentence which we I have given. I can give multiple sentences also. Okay. For the sake of uh, simplicity, maybe I'll just uh, copy this text over here. Uh, okay. Yeah, here we have. Yeah. So I'll just copy the text from here from the documentation and paste it uh, over here. And I'll paste it over here. So if any text is selected at the time of pressing the keys, it will be enclosed inside the grid. Okay. So I want uh, to create gaps now uh, for a certain words. Now, in uh, in order to do that, I will I will select the word for which I want to create a gap and click on this gap button. If I want to give a clue button, I may give, or if there are any alternative correct answers, I can give. So for this this particular word, I don't want to give any clue or any alternative correct answers. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. Uh, if uh, now for uh, other words, I can just put uh, select the words and create a gap and uh, uh, give it a, a clue such as this. Yeah. And now from this uh, window, I can also navigate between question one and question two. Uh, all the gaps which are created uh, and the gaps are all numbered from one to two. Okay. Now next, let's and uh, let's say displayed. Uh, so. 
I make uh, I'm not uh, putting any glue for this and uh, I'll just create a few gaps so that uh, we can check it um, later so reading text create a gap here text okay okay so I have created here five gaps uh, so once I have created the gaps I'll just save this file I'll give it a name as uh, uh example So now I have saved this file. Now once I have saved the file, I can go ahead and build it. Uh, this is the option to build it so that the students can find this file. This is a, this will be a student. This will be a, the student version. So I'll build it and it will create a file which is a uh, by uh, which goes by the extension htm. It will be an HTML file. So, and I'll uh, store it in a folder where which, which will be easier for me to locate and to share with the students. So, I'll go ahead and save it. Now, I can view this exercise. Now, the exercise is created and I can view it in my browser. So, I'll click this button and go on to view this exercise. Uh, here, uh, when it opens in the Internet Explorer, it will uh, block a particular script. Uh, now we will just uh, now we have to allow it, it to uh, let the blocked content uh, be uh, there. So I'll just allow the blocked content, and then I can fill in the gaps over here. If there is a next exercise, it can uh, it can be there. But uh, if there is only one exercise over here. We can see that there is a hint button for all the uh, uh, all the uh, places where we had provided a hint. Now this question mark, uh, the hint was actually a question mark, so it comes as it. Now uh, we can see this one clearly. I think the thing came as a text here. Okay. So uh, this is the, an example of a close. Uh, so we can type in the answers. Now uh, let's say it's a uh, J close is an exercise, exercise uh, which is useful in uh, question uh, field. I think it was field. And then when the question is answer. I'm not sure the option shows all the questions. We had five fields, so that you can see there are five uh, filling uh, blanks to be filled in. And uh, this one I just write reading text. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and now uh, if there's a hint, all the hints are given here. Uh, now then we'll go ahead and check. Uh, you, you can see here the score is 40% uh, and the um, correct answers uh, are uh, answers uh, which are corrected are 40%. Okay. So this is your J close. Um, your score is 40%. Some of your answers are incorrect. Incorrect answers have been left in the place uh, in your place to change now so if i want to change the incorrect answer here i can change uh, them here okay uh, so this is the a typical uh, 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 fill in the blanks or gap fill exercise created by uh, hot potatoes now we can use uh, this, uh, this uh, j close file uh, in uh, uh, model uh, to import this entire exercise uh, in model itself okay uh, uh, next we will move ahead to the other options of hot potatoes uh, I'll go ahead and say the changes here and close it the next option is the uh, J mix uh, let's go for J match that is match the following so once we click it, uh, we will get a screen like this. Now the, I'll uh, again it will ask for a title, so I'll let the title be match the following. Okay. 
So we can see here the left side is the ordered items and the right side is the jumbled items. So I'll just uh, we can uh, increase the we can put in as many items as we want here. So I'll just write uh, uh, I'll just create a simple match the following. Let's say uh, um, okay. So let's say we have. Uh, Uh, a B B then tab we have C then D then A then we can have three two one two three three four Right. It will give the answers in the right order. Here. If I want to fix the position of a certain match, I can just click on this fix button, uh, and then I will go ahead and build it. Yeah. So this is a student file that we create. So uh, I'll just uh, write uh, match the following student. Okay, so the exercise is created. I can view it in the browser. Uh, again, it is uh, you can see it is trying to block the content, so I'll allow the content. Uh, and here uh, I can just drag and drop it. So this position is already fixed, so it's really automatically came up here. Uh, these are the left side ordered uh, numbers, and these numbers, as you can see, we had uh, in, uh, put the input correctly, but now here they are jumbled on this side. So I can we can drag one with A and submit. Submit So this is your match the following uh, match the following quiz. Um, okay, so we can uh, obviously add more uh, more uh, specific things if we want here. Uh, and more uh, let's say more options if you want here. Um, okay, now uh, we can also add images if required. Okay. Now we'll uh, just close this and uh, go ahead with the next option. Okay, uh, this is the master file where we can make changes in the question. So we will uh, close. Uh, we will uh, save the master file also. So I'll just go ahead and save this. Okay, I'll save it. Yeah, and I'll override. Uh, next is your uh, gmix which is basically jumbled words so uh, jumbled words or jumbled sentences uh, so um, I will just uh, click on the gmix and we have the uh, window open then we will just uh, give it a title uh, uh, so the jumbled words. Okay. Now here we will put the main sentence and here the alternate sentences. Now uh, alternate sentences means if there is a if with the same set of words, uh, different sentences can be formed. Now here we can see two uh, options for alternate sentences. Allow sentences which do not do not use all words and punctuation as the main sentence. Uh, uh, second is one if alternate sentences do not use all words uh, and punctuations in the main sentence. So uh, it only means that uh, what uh, we will give uh, parts of sentences here. So sentences can be formed by using all the parts of the sentence also or only two or three parts of the sentence also. Okay, I'll explain this in a while. I'll just add a few sentences here uh, for better understanding. So, uh, 
let's uh, see uh, today today is the sixth day of faculty faculty development program at Salation College. So here uh, you can see that we have five parts to a main sentence. Each sentence, uh, each part is separated by a, a enter. Okay, so when we uh, write a uh, one part and press enter, it is uh, uh, considered to be one part of the sentence. Basically, so this entire part will be jumbled together. So today is and the sixth day uh, will be one unit, but they will be jumbled, uh, uh, jumbled for the entire sentence. Okay, now here, uh, now for the first part, allow the sentences which do not use all words. That is, we can just go with today is the sixth day of the faculty development program. Okay, so we can uh, write the alternate sentence over here. The alternate sentence can be this. So, this is an alternate sentence. Uh, here, this is an alternate sentence which does not use all the words within the main sentence. Or we can, uh, if we don't choose this, then that means uh, 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 our main sentence has to use all the words which are there in the main, which are there uh, present there. So it will issue an issue a warning telling that uh, my work, my work is actually not com complete, and all the words and punctuation uh, has to be used, uh, whatever uh, option is given. Okay, now uh, then, uh, so that is there. So I have given here uh, one alternate sentence. Now, next I will uh, go ahead and save it first, uh, which I did not do last time. So I will just give it a uh, jumbled word master. Master because it has a master file, I can reuse it anytime. Then I'll uh, construct, uh, build, build it again. So this is the build option. So I'll create a uh, HTML file. So this is a student file. So let just let me rename it to double uh, word student and save it. Now here uh, it is a warning showing uh, the word today is always begins with a capital letter even when it is when it isn't at the beginning of the sentence indicating that uh, a capital letter at the beginning of the sentence uh, easily gives away uh, the answer that this is the first word of the sentence. So do we want to keep it capital or not? So if it does not, uh, it, if it always begins with a capital letter then we will just uh, click yes otherwise no. So uh, uh, I'll just click on no here in this case and I'll view the exercise in my browser after it is made or now this is uh, Internet Explorer's uh, blocking the content so I'll just allow the content and this is how my exercise will look like. Okay, so uh, to, so today is you can see here that today is T has become small letter because it was because of the no which we selected there. So uh, now we can rearrange the sentence. Today is okay. We have to double click this. We have to double click this. Today is the sixth day of the faculty development program. Uh, it is under because uh, add this was selection college. Okay, and so uh, we will uh, solve this. So today is the sixth day uh, of faculty development program at selection college. Okay. Uh, and then I can check. Okay, yes, college and person. And we started. So let's uh, do it as today is. Solution for this faculty development program object. Uh, okay, uh, check. Sorry, try again. Uh, this is not your answer. Okay. So, this is how the jumper sentences work. We will exit. Okay, 
Next is uh, the J quiz. Uh, for the quiz, um, I already have a prepared quiz uh, since I don't want to end the uh, questions here manually. So I'll just uh, open a safe quiz over here. So I also will do this. So this is question one and this is question two uh, about the auction books etc. So and uh, uh, this is question three uh, and now uh, you can see here and this is question four. Uh, so I have four questions here. Uh, first in first question is a multiple choice question. We can have four different types of uh, questions uh, given here. So first question is a multiple choice question. So I have written the correct uh, I have given the tip to the correct answer. Uh, uh, lesson and uh, now so the correct answer actually is the workshop. So in the second the second question. The second question is a uh, is a short answer question. Oh, sorry, it is a multi select question. So uh, two should be selected. So no, because two of them are uh, both both of them are the correct answers here. So both of them should be selected. Now for the third question, we have a short answer question. So I have uh, two sets of short answers given, and both of which are correct. Uh, if uh, none of these are there, then the answer is incorrect. Now, for the fourth uh, for the fourth question, it's a hybrid. It can be an MCQ also, and it can uh, uh, include. It can be an uh, it it can be an MCQ also, and it can be a short answer also. So this is the correct uh, MCQ, and it includes the correct option also. So uh, I'll go ahead and say it's already saved. I'll just build it. So I have uh, I have built the student copy of the quiz and I'll just save it and view it view the exercise in the browser. It is blocking the content button, so I'll allow all the content over here. So which is a peer reviewing activity? It was workshop. So the answer is one of four is correct. Okay. And then I'll go to the next question. So, which is an author interview, hot potatoes, and HP5? Uh, and then I can check. Uh, it is correct again. Next one, what is the survey? Uh, survey of questions. Okay. Uh, so, your answer is, is partly wrong because there's a uh, S over here probably. Uh, okay. okay, now let me see the hint. Um, survey or question. So I had an S, so which made the answer wrong. I can see the answer also. It a possible survey or questions and answers or a set of questions. Okay, uh, so that was the third question. Then the fourth question is a hybrid type. So, okay. What is a hybrid question? It is a hybrid question. So I'll just check. Uh, so, okay, sorry, try again. Now, if there is a hint, uh, the next correct uh, letter in your answer is T. Uh, hybrid question T. Okay, so sorry, try again. So here, this is a hybrid question. So this is a hybrid question. Okay. So that was your MCQ and short answer. I had to put in the last part. If you could see that I could, I had to write a uh, answer also, short answer also, and select which one is correct as well. So if I click on the so show all question, I can see all the questions at a time uh, over here. And the score is displayed over here. And which, uh, how many uh, uh, questions were answered correctly was is also given over here. So that was a uh, J quiz uh, uh, in hot potatoes. So let's save the file.